What's going on everyone? My name is John and today we're making wine. Hey, I've got a question for you. Were you around a few months ago when I did the meetup here in town at uh, Botaya Winery? So a bunch of you guys all came. I put on an event, a lot of you guys came. I got to meet a bunch of you. We did this whole like wine tasting and food pairing event. It was amazing. But part of you know that day was we were taking on this like really cool tour of the winery. And along in, or in that tour, we all saw the blending lab. Well, this is a deal where you basically taste like single varietal wines and then you blend them all together and make your own custom blend. We're doing that today. A bunch of these guys all got together and we're like, we need to go do this. So anyway, today we're gonna go do it. I'm gonna bring the camera. Hopefully I'll get some good content for you guys. But also part of this is we're doing some promo photos for the winery that they can use to help promote this whole wine blending lab experience. But just like in that last video, and I'll link to it down below here somewhere so you guys can go see that old video from a few months ago at the meetup. Just like in that video, I'm struggling trying to figure out what the hell to wear. So I think I landed on this. So I'm probably gonna tuck the shirt in, but I've got these brown loafers. I was gonna go with like a lighter color, but I think these are these are gonna just kind of have to do. And I, yes, I do have socks on. Uh, light blue shorts, dark blue navy shirt. What do you guys think? And yeah, I'll probably tuck it in. So it's going to look, I don't know, something like this. But it's like super hot outside and I don't want to tuck my shirt in quite yet. But anyway, come along and uh, yeah, we'll go check this thing out. It should be amazing. All right, so here at Bataya, we're all about Italian varietals and everything that we make is steak grown. Um, you'll see this is our fermentation hall. This is where all the magic happens. And you have the wonderful opportunity to um, be a winemaker for the day. Um, if you look behind you, we have cast aging barrels. Those are massive barrels that we use to age high tannic wines um, for long periods of time. So those have been in there for about two, three plus years. All of our wines here are uh, mostly single varietal. So you making the blend uh, to cater to whatever you want is gonna be super fun because I feel like you can't really go wrong because all the wines on their own um, are really, really nice. Everyone has a bottle and that will be at the very end once you're all set with your blend. We're gonna help, I'm gonna help you create that. This is gonna be a small cylinder. This is what we're gonna start with for our blends because we're gonna make little mini blends first. And then once you find the blend that you love, we're gonna be making in this big guy here. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Think as you're doing this. What am I gonna be eating with my blend? What kind of wines do I like? Do I like bolder wines? Do I like lighter wines? So this is gonna be lighter. I'm trying not to make yours a mess. I'm gonna try my blend. You're basically trying to add up to 100%, okay? So we're gonna have to do a little bit of math. <laughs> so I like kind of a medium body, but I like a little bit more fruit forward. I'm gonna do 50% San Sangiovese. I'm gonna pour that to the 50 mark. All right, 50, and then I like a little bit more oak, so I'm gonna do, let's say, 30% Montepulciano. So I'm gonna add it up. And then I'm gonna do 10% Alionico, 10% Sagrantino. So you're gonna go 50%, 30, 10, 10. You can do, you have the tools to use, and now you can make your own blend. What do you think, Bill? Interesting, what do you got? Well, I started with 30%. Uh, the Sargentino. Sargentino. Because I like, I like a little bit heavier tannins. Yes, of course. So trying to do the primary on the last two, the Alan Jinko, awesome. do 30%. Do it. All right. So once you have your blend in that cylinder, I take this whole... All right, so this is my first blend. This is 60% Sargentino, 20% Sangiovese, and 20% uh, what was it? Uh, Alianico. This is really good. It's a very bold wine. We're doing um, three samples. This is my very first one. So I think I'm gonna go less bold on the next couple and we'll kind of see but so far Amazing. What a cool experience. How are you doing? What, what are you what are you ending up with here? I so have not tasted this yet. 
This is your second your second mix? Yes. Your second blend? It's 30% San Gio, 30% Montepulciano, 20 Anglianico. Okay. And um, the last one I'm just gonna call Sarah. Because it's Sagrantino. Tino. Sagrantino, yeah. Saratino. <laughs> and Ooh, I might like it better than my first one. Sure. See, I feel like it I like my second one a little bit better. My first one, I went heavy, Sagrantino, and, oh, let me try that one. And it was really thick and heavy, which is good, but my second one, hold on. It's good. I like that one. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Like, oh, that was really good. That's right. That's right. That was pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. All right, so what did, what did you do? So I... Uh, Switch with my wife. I just did blind tasting, didn't look at the numbers, just straight up tasted them. Okay. And so it gave me a new uh, new deal, right? I just, right. I just like what I like. It wasn't all about the numbers. So then did you look at her percentages? And yes, and then I don't know anything. So now what did, I figured out. Did you did you copy numbers her? Numbers don't mean anything. I just <laughs> like what I like. <laughs> and but you, did you like hers better than yours? No. Oh, oh I did not. I'm sorry, Wendy, you're not as talented as your husband. <laughs> Sean, John, what do you got going on over here? So, so you've done all three. So I finally did all three. This one, this one was perfect, but I liked it a little bit, a little bit fruitier, and the Montepulciano was super fruity. So I did an extra 10% of Montepulciano on the third one and dialed it right in. So really? now we're good to go. Ariane? Hi. How are you doing over here? I'm doing great. I've made a mess. But okay. you have okay. that. that's okay. We'll let that go. <laughs> so oh, I want to see your numbers. Yeah, look at my numbers. Teacher. And my breadstick. Yeah. So I really like the um, Multipulciano. Yes, very, very So good. I started low and then I increased it a little bit more each time. Yeah. So my last one, I'm at 60% for that. I can't decide if I like my two or my three better, to be honest. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, they are very similar. They are very similar, really. We're corking. Corking. Oh, boy. Oh, cork, too. <laughs> cork off. There you go. Oh, it's so cool. There you go. We're done. Are you going to get a few bottles of your favorite blend? Oh, I might get a bottle of yours. Mine are the uh, the list. Really? Let me yeah. see. Let me see. What, let me see your numbers. Where are your numbers at? No, it's got. I wanted to. What's go, this? What is this? I started over. I, you know. I, <laughs> well, the main thing is I didn't want to wait for it to get good. I wanted to drink it now. Exactly. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Help yourself. So I can see heavy on the Sangiovese. Right. Very good. Right. Is that my label? That's your label. Is that can my we, label? Wait, can we name that the Morning Woods? <laughs> oh, That's crazy. Morning wood. The Morning Woods. What does this say? <laughs> it is Morning Wood wine, weenie wine, delicious. Oh my god. <laughs> so after we're done with our little percentages, you do like the full percentages in like exactly. the full size? So this is all, so 100. So I, instead of 100%, it's now 1,000. So if it's 50%, I'm going to go to 500. Um, now I'm going to go to 40%. So I'm going to go um, up to the 900. And then he's doing 10% Sagrantino. So I'm going to go up to that 10 there. And that's a full wine bottle. Full wine bottle plus a glass to drink. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Okay, so these are my, my blends that you're mixing up and going to put it in a bottle. Yes. And I'm getting, what am I getting? Five bottles? Five bottles. Five bottles. I'm getting four of my favorite and one of... The uh, Michael. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's a good one. Yes! See, this is my brother. This is a good... This okay! Is a good, uh, yeah. I like she it. doesn't know the story of my brother, Dean Michael, so I'll fill you in on that whole story later. Okay. But my fifth, yeah, my fifth bottle is um, Dwayne's blend because it was so good. And I copied his. Is this in the way? How many bottles did you get? Oh, you Just one. Shorter? Just yeah. one? You know, if it's bad, I don't want to do more than one. And, well, it, was, and it wasn't. You blended it. Good. You blended it. You have to remember, you blended it. I know my weaknesses, and, and, and blending wine is a weakness for me. So drinking it, however. Drinking it. I'm drinking okay, it is a strength I'm for sure. I'm an expert though, with that. But no. Some we have more bottles that are being, or more more blends that are being bottled up right at the moment. So we don't have. All the wines, some of the wines that we have, 
our custom labels. We're gonna hang on to these for a couple years and drink them on New Year's Eve, three years from now. Look at this stuff. John lamenting his lack of social media. I know. I know. I need to, I'm on TikTok now, by the way. Oh, finally. <laughs> I know. What are you, 19? Shake him. Shake him. Shake him. Okay, I'm just Shake him if you got him. What's happening? Get that fucking thing up.